up everyone it is your girl gel beauty 87 here aka grace and today we're going to visit my top 10 palettes from so the brand that we've chosen this time is none other than color so it's like how do you whittle down 10 color pop palettes when there's 532 that just launched 20 minutes ago while i was talking i don't know but i managed to do so i think it's because i have a curated set of color pop palettes i like to use and so I'm like, I'm just going to go with those. However, in all fairness, um, a couple of these I did redesign myself. So I think I have an extra one sitting here just in case you don't like the one I redesigned. Because I think it's only one that I redesigned. Well, no. I, now that I think about it, it's two that I redesigned. Is it two? Crap. I think it's three. Like, y'all. So we just going to have to go with whatever I got here. But, like, a couple of them was, like, re minimal redesigns. Where I literally took, like, maybe one or two shades out of the palette. Whereas the other one, I, it's like a mega palette, but I changed like a few things in it. So I had two mega palettes I changed around, so my bad. And then I got like a majority of like palettes that they made that I just left the way they were. But you know, that's the good thing about Colourpop. Like you can constantly switch around the shades, so I did. So I'm going to start off with the one I didn't change, the Star Wars palette. I actually really like the color story of this perfectly fine. I feel like this is perfect if you like... um warm tones occasionally and cool tones occasionally because they give you the perfect combination to me this is like if you cover this up and then it's like you have the pat mcgrath's subliminal palette her very first one that's what it makes me think of when i look at this like this a poor man's version of that and then if you cover this side then i feel like you have a poor man's version of the um what is it the, the um the bronze seduction palette the um one everybody went crazy over except it doesn't have the shimmers like the sparkly green shimmer and aubergine shade it has a blast instead but i feel like if you like that sort of vibe you like her warm tones bronze seduction and you like her cool tone subliminal palette that i feel like this would be the palette for you because you get both of those color stories now i'm not saying this is pat mcgrath's quality at all but it's like when i think about a blue palette and a red palette um combination that's what i think of or i think of the um what is the um the nomad Ice, with fire and ice palette that from the Iceland palette that's my favorite palette from them by the way but I really like this it's um they have it back in stock finally I just did a palette rewind of it for the people who wanted to grab it while it was back in stock so I figured I would show you that one just to start off with because I want you to see the packaging too and the packaging on the um other ones that I have in their boxes um they they look exactly like the box, but I've had to show that box just because I feel like it's so special. And the packaging on the actual palette is just so boring compared to the box. But I guess that's their way of making you hold on to the, you know. Plus, it would probably cost more to put that design on the actual palette than it would have on the box. And, you know, they had to be price conscious consumers while they try to rob you of your money. Um, next, I have the, what is this, the... Um, Tinkerbell and Colourpop Sprinkle a Little Magic palette. I really like the color story of this, but like a couple of shades a little too ashy for me. So what I did was I bought that one and done like um brown and pink palette they had came out with this year and switched some of the shades around in it. So this is what mine looks like now. As you can see, I got these bright greens. I took these greens from the Limelight palette and I think I took the pink from the pinks from the um one and done palette and that's how i got um the color i have now or this might have came from the boston celtics palette i'm not 100 percent sure but um this is what she looks like as you can see it's quite stunning i love the way this color story turned out after i changed some of the shades around in it so that's why it's one of my favorites because it's like it's catered more to work for my skin tone a little bit better than it originally did with the color story that they originally came up with because it was a little too light but in all fairness tinkerbell is light so i understand where they came from with the concept and everything about the masses as opposed to the minority so i just did what i needed to do and handle the business so look the way i wanted it to look and since Colourpop is always on clearance, I just waited till that palette went on clearance, threw it in the cart, and went on with my life. So next, I have the Cabana Club. This was their spring palette from 2021, I want to say. It's 2020 or 2021. Um, I actually really like the color story of this. And this is actually a good alternative to Summer Essential to pay from um, BH Cosmetics. I actually prefer the formula of this over the one from BH Cosmetics. I know Morgan Turner likes the Summer and Central Pay. I don't know what it is about that palette. I don't ever really like it. I did a battle of the with it in this palette, if I remember correctly. No, sorry, not battle of the. It was an eyeshadow versus why I did um, ColourPop against BH. Because I noticed in my collection, I had a lot of similar color stories from them and BH. So I took advantage of it. But this is what it looks like on the inside. I really like this palette. I like to pull it out in the springtime and use it from time to time over the... um. 
Southern Central Pay, so that's why I'm going to show it off. Of course, if I have that one, then y'all already know which one is coming next, right? We all know, right? Lush Life. Everybody's talking about Lush Life when this came out in, I want to say, 2020. We were all talking about how stunning and wonderful this palette was. I mean, like, it's a really nice palette. I feel like it's really similar to the um, Python palette from um, Huda Beauty, though, with the Wild Obsessions. The only thing is, I feel like this one has a little bit more variety and it comes to the color than that one does but i feel like they're really similar i think i did a, a main chick side chick of those as well i i know you can't get this palette anymore but it's still stunning and lovely and i'm so glad to have it in my collection it reminds me of wilderness from um bh cosmetics as well i mean not bh cosmetics beauty bay as well but you can't get that one anymore either so um i don't know why i keep talking about palettes you can't get anymore i'm sorry but um they have dupes to the um wilderness palette from um beauty bay in i forgot what the name of the green palette the earth excuse me goodness the earth palette so you can get the earth palette and get a lot of the similar greens and browns it's just not gonna have the oranges and reds that you see in here well the oranges because i don't really oh i'm sorry i don't know how i got the hiccups i don't know how i don't really consider this a red that's what i meant to say to me this is more of like a briggyish type orange that you use for your outer V. and then of course they had to give you this neutral section because they always have to give you neutral sections they can't just you know let you have color and live life i don't know why but yeah so anyway next i have a fall palette from colourpop this is sonic bloom the funny thing is i recreated a palette from colourpop in my palette recreation video and made it look really similar to this one so i was like what was the point of buying that one if you already have this in your collection like slow but i do like this palette i do use it a lot i just made a bigger version of it to leave here at my grandma's house because i do like this color story this much now with this palette i only changed out one shade i took the shade out right here and put this yellow matte here instead of what was there but i feel like it works better with the color story because see it blends in with the rest of what's going on here now you can put the yellow and the creasing on the brow bone i can put this on the outer v if i want something soft then i can put this on the lid and i feel like the rest of the colors lined up like that so that's what inspired me to just put this yellow here and make that work for me but i really like the palette and do we see the how gorgeous this packaging is like color pop always be killing when it comes to this package and i'm just like yes now i had to dig down in the crates for this palette but if you thought i wasn't going to you had to be on drugs it's the good sport from color pop i remember when this came out i was going out to dinner with my family my color pop package showed up and i spent a good little bit of blending this on my eyes or whatever and i got compliments on this palette when i went out to dinner that night i absolutely love this palette i just think it's so stunning i if there's anything i wish color pop would bring back i feel like it's this i wish they would just bring this palette back like milk rock Marte back color pop y'all need to bring good sport back this palette is absolutely stunning it's so many people that wanted this they was buying a second hand off people on Macari and Poshmark for outrageous prices just because the color store is so unique to um color pop from what they usually show because y'all know i've showed you um pattern and trend of a whole bunch of different palettes but i really like this palette and i'm still keeping mine i don't care what you say i want them to come out with this palette again so i can get a fresh one because i'm here for it at least come out with these as singles like menagerie does so that way i can just remake the palette myself when the shades expire or something like i don't know but i need this palette in my life to me this is just one of the color pop things that they made a huge mistake on by getting rid of i mean i know it probably wasn't selling as well as everything else was because everybody likes about the same 10 neutral palettes from them when they run out of their neutral shades for every day but it's like y'all y'all just need to bring this back one good time the way y'all brought the um churro highlighter back you need to bring this back one good time okay thank you i need it back so yeah next i have limoncello believe it or not yes i have limoncello now this is another one of the palettes i was talking about i changed around but it was like a minimal change i literally just took this shade out of i think it was the limelight palette or tinkerbell and it's one of those sequin shades but i just wanted to have a green matte in here with this green shimmer because i felt like it was missing and it had so many neutral browns and just this pop of blue i was like i want to pop of another color so i put this pop of green and as you can see the color is washing out so you can't even see the green that well but see i just put this pop of green to go with like that shimmery green which i have never used because it's a sequin shade and that makes me angry so when i find a better green i will definitely pop it in here and get that done but i just wanted the palette to have a different aesthetic as opposed to a whole bunch of neutrals in this one random pop of color so i really like this i actually use this quite a bit considering it's more on the neutral side but when it's good it's good and that's definitely a good palette so i'm glad to have it in my collection now we're gonna get down to the um, mega palettes so i have three mega palettes to show y'all um I'ma just take the one aside that I was gonna bring to replace the ones I had um, remade just because I'm like, you know, I have remade so much so it's like, you know, what's the point? So, your golden palette. To me, this was them kind of get, I guess, back at Kathleen Lights because to me, this just looked originally like a giant version of her Dream Street palette that did so popular, but 
I switched mine around. I took shades from a whole bunch of different palettes and just made it into what it is now, which is this. I like this a whole lot better than the one I originally came out with because I think it was like literally these two shades and the rest of these are like a whole bunch of warm tone shades. I was like, no, nah, I need some color somewhere. So I pulled this green from, um, I don't remember what palette that came from, but I know I pulled these greens right here. If I remember correctly, they're from um, Inner Trance. So I'm pretty sure these two came from Inner Trance. I think this might have came from Inner Trance or it might have originally been in the palette. I'm not sure. But I didn't pull a whole bunch of stuff in this palette. I think I did one, two, three, four, and I think that's it. Don't quote me though. It's been a long time since I had remade this palette but I think it looks absolutely stunning I like to pull it out and use it from time to time and I'm really big on the mega palette from Colourpop but my all time favorite mega palette from Colourpop is coming up now and you all said this is your favorite mega palette from Colourpop too out of all my recreated palettes from Colourpop it's the it's a mood palette now I had my girl Jackie buy this for me as a Christmas present because I was like Jackie it's gorgeous it's stunning I need it she was like yes it is but then when I got it, it was like super grungy and deeper than I expected it to be. So I had to add some bright shimmers and some bright pops of color to make it my own. So this is what mine looks like now. I absolutely love it. It actually kind of gives me vibes of the Vitality palette when I think about it now from um, Unearthly. But I still got this row of neutrals just in case I'm in a rush. But I can take I could take this on vacation and be perfectly happy with it. I have this mint shade. I have these darker grungier shades to go with then i have my blues then i have my purples then i have my pinks and i have these two sets of neutrals because i have to rush off and do something so i think this is like the perfect palette and i'm so happy i recreated mine to look like this it's simply stunning and i absolutely love it so we only have one more palette to go can you guess which collab palette it is because i spoiler alert it's a collab palette hold on so if you guessed correctly then you know it is the so jaded palette from casting lights now i did switch out a shade in here or two so I basically just took out the pressed glitters that she put in this palette so I think where this pink shade is was a pressed glitter yeah because the shade topaz was a pressed glitter and I think the shade I think it's opal was a pressed glitter and I replaced it with this one right here just because I didn't want the pressed glitters in my palette so I took them out of like obviously a pink base palette because that's why they have pink shades in them I don't think that it necessarily goes perfect with this but I just wasn't feeling the pressed glitters of it all so I was like they need to get up out of my palette so that's what I changed them with for now. I don't reach for this palette as often as I used to. Just because I told y'all the It's a Mood palette just does it for me. So I haven't really reached for this that much. The It's a Mood palette is the one I really wanted to use. But in all fairness, I don't feel like it's fair that I use that one. So I'm trying to figure out which one of these ColourPop palettes I actually do want to use. I recently did a star a look with the Star Wars one. So I don't want to necessarily use that one. I'm trying to use one that's still in stock and that I don't that I didn't make a whole bunch of changes to. So that's the issue with this video because it's like if it's still in stock, I probably made changes to it and excuse me, I might it might not be in stock, so uh I think we might end up doing a look with my It's a Move custom palette just because I feel like it'll be fun. And I kind of want to do a battle of the alongside it and my Vitality palette now. But it's like you can't buy this palette like this so I feel like it's not fair. I just took the shades from my um, Lilac You A Lot, It's My Pleasure and my original Ooh La La palettes. Because I, if y'all remember in my ranking of my Colourpop palettes a while ago, I had dropped them and they were my original ones. So I just went ahead and dropped those in there and then this mint green shade came from... I want to say garden variety don't quote me but yeah and then i think this shade came from the um soul palette because it had blue and it had um orange in it but yeah i'm thinking well actually end up using this palette and now i want to compare it to my vitality palette from um unearthly cosmetics and see how they'll do in a battle side by side but i feel like that has more mauve I mean, I feel like it has more bright tones in it, so I'd have to stick to the neutral side with this to stick with the original things that came in this palette. But I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Anyway, this is, I'm pretty sure, the winner and what we're going to use in this video. I had brought the Getting Fresh palette just in case I didn't want to use it. It's a mood, but we're just going to go with it's a mood because, you know, well, it's a mood. And first of all, this one is in stock. And secondly, I just really love the color story of this and want to have an excuse to play with it. So now I do. Yay! Anyway, let me zoom y'all in real quick and real cute. Like, I'm going to go off camera, come up with an eye look with the palette. I'm going to try to use the colors that originally came in the palette, not necessarily the ones that I added to them. But in all fairness, if you have these palettes, you might be able to just pop the shades out of your original It's um, My Pleasure or your Light Like You A Lot or your Ooh La La and um, just make the eye look I'm doing. So I might just stick to the shades I know are, um, you know, 
and popped a color pop palette that a lot of people have since they did monochromatic palettes for years and then got into these bigger ones. Anyway, I need to stop rambling and go do something instead of sitting here and talking or else the eye look will never get done. I'll be back, girl, okay? Okay. Okay, so I tried to get out of this Valentine's Day moment because I didn't film any Valentine's Day um, tutorials at all. So I'm just kind of incorporating them into the normal like ideas I have for the channel and just making them Valentine's Day editions because I ain't got time to just film individual stuff like that, okay, girl? It is uh, February the 11th right now, and I, I just was not prepared this year at all. It, like, snuck up on me. So what I did with the course, y'all remember this is my custom um, palette from that I made with the It's a Mood palette, and all these shades are from the, um, what's that palette called? Uh, Ooh La La. So if you have Ooh La La, you can follow along with me and make this look. I'm pretty sure this is from Ooh La La. I know this is from Ooh La La. I feel like this is from Ooh La La. And I think the other two might have already been in this palette. Don't quote me. It's been so long ago since I made this palette. So I don't remember. Okay. Okay. So I started off with this shade right here. This is the shade that's on the outer V right there. This is the shade that's on the brow bone and all in the crease. This, of course, is the shade on the lid. And that's our inner corner shade. So... We gonna do this my top 10 favorite palettes from ColourPop with the It's a Mood palette and make a nice little Valentine's Day S look. I love how I held the palette up like it had a mirror. It's ColourPop girl. They don't wanna ever give you a mirror. Them and you this place think you don't need a mirror. Now how you supposed to put on a pot of people off in them? Who the hell knows? They think you don't need a mirror. Let me grab this mirror from somebody else. And make sure I'm turning when you actually see me. That would be helpful, right? Yeah, totally. So want this. Y'all, it's like two in the morning. Usually I'm over it fast asleep. I woke up at like 9.40 after having only slept since 6 o'clock. So I got up for three hours to do this. I gotta go mail off packages tomorrow. I gotta pack tomorrow. It's a whole lot going on. I'm like, you I gotta do a whole bunch of stuff. So I used the ColourPop pencil from um, um, the Powerpuff Girls collection in the shade Him. And kind of just line and crease. But I have a nose. I like to do shimmery, like accented crease nowadays. I've been doing it a lot, so I'm just doing it again. So we're starting off with the deeper shade. Now I'm going with the lighter, pinkish looking shade. It's more fuchsia esque, if you will, and that's what I put up here. It oxidized to be deeper obviously after I put it on, but as you can see when it starts off, it's lighter than the shade underneath it. But I feel like it's kind of blended to each other after a while. Have y'all seen that girl on TikTok who's went up and down? She a Lee and R. Kelly's daughter. I'm like, Lord. And then one of my friends sent me like this picture of her and they made a fun of her and saying she was Seely and um, what do you call this daughter? Seely and um... Mr. Um, daughter from Color Purple, I was like, y'all just, just petty for talking about this girl. I mean, like, my whole thing is like, you know, I hope she know that people finna really be like dragging her because people don't play about Aaliyah. I'm a huge Aaliyah fan myself. It's like, people do not play about Miss Aaliyah Dana Haunton. Like, they do not play. So it's like, you guys are talking about you, her daughter, her and our Kelly's um, daughter. I'm just like, mm. I'm hoping she don't get dragged too hard and have to run away from the internet and not come back because y'all know these people are not going to play with her. But I was like, why would you even say that? Like, you know, maybe it's one of them secrets you should took to grave. Because she allegedly Aaliyah and our Kelly daughter. Like, okay, y'all, so I'm like super late to this Amber Heard and like, I did that party. So I just started watching about that and that happened like almost a year ago. But like, I watched this lady called Swoop and she be doing a whole bunch of documentaries on stuff. So I just randomly decided to like, Watch that one because, like, she hadn't come up with any new ones in a while I cared about. I was watching one on the Ace Family when I was at work, and then I think I watched one on another family, like, network or something like that. I don't really watch these people, so I didn't know who any of them were, but it's like I had heard of the names of the Ace Family, so I was like, maybe I'll click on that. We're gonna take the pink and put it all over there, but it's like I don't really watch, like, family channels and if i did i'd watch bradley party of six because that's um camelia yvette's um channel with her husband and her three kids or sorry her four kids but you know i don't know i just don't watch family like vlog channels or whatever so i had no idea who they were i just heard um kathleen's lights complain about that austin mcbrew dude who's supposed to be part of um the ace family would have been talking about how she couldn't stand him or whatever so that's only reason I even know who like the Ace family is, otherwise I have no idea who they are. Let me just 
go back in this darker shade a little bit on the outer beam. Yeah, like otherwise I'd be totally cool. Like, who are these people? Who are they? What do they do? What are you talking about? Let me clean my. Sorry, just take my brush and just dust off here. Now I'm going with the inner corner shade and then I draw the little line I was telling y'all about and then we can be done with this eye look. I think it looks pretty vibrant. Sorry, hair keeps getting stuck to my lips. This is why you don't like be trying to wear lip gloss when you have hair all over your head like I do right now. And yes, it is new hair I got put in for vacation I'm going on. If you all remember, I told y'all a while ago in some other videos for my regulars that I was going to Vegas. And tomorrow, today, I go to Vegas. So, I went to go get my hair done today. So, it'll be freshly done for when I do go out of town. Um, anyway, so I just drew the line right here with this um, crayon from the Powerpuff Girls. So, I'm just going to do that now. And then we'll zoom out and talk about my thought on Miss Color Pop here. But yeah, so. I feel like this trip just sneaked up on me. I'm like, I'm looking up and I'm now I gotta go on this trip. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, I feel like I was just talking about this trip two weeks ago. I feel like everything this year is actually going pretty fast, pretty early, because I'm like, I already feel like, like, what? We almost in March? What is going on? Like, what? What is going on with this year? Where it's going? And it's like, I feel like I'm gonna look up and it's gonna be time for Asian graduate from eighth grade in June. So I'm just like, where is the time going? Because it's going way too fast. So that's the finish. I look. Oddly enough, I used all the ColourPop stuff because this is the ColourPop um, eyeliner and then the ColourPop shadow. So, got all my ColourPop stuff used. Let me back you on up and we can talk about my thoughts. So, y'all know I love this ColourPop palette because it was a custom made one. And I wanted to use one of my custom made ones just because, you know, a lot of times I'll make them and I don't really use them that often because I always have to review something new. So, I felt like in particular that I wanted to use a custom made one and I really like this custom made one. As y'all know, this is one of my all-time favorite custom made ones. This and my Tinkerbell. I like my Sailor Moon one. This custom made pretty well. It's pretty much as well. But, you know, like, I love the eye look I came up with. Like I said, if you have to use a lot of palettes, you can make this same eye look pretty much. I'm pretty sure it's just about all the shades I use in here except for the one for the Outer V is in there. And you saw this one oxidized to the shade of the Outer V. So you could easily use this on the outer V and all in the crease like I did. Just put this one on the lid and put that shade in the inner corner. And like I said, you have the same eye look that I have on right now. And if you have the ColourPop um, hem crayon, then you can do that as well. But I love this palette. This is easily my favorite big palette from them. Then second would probably be like the Kathleen Light ones. And maybe third would be Getting Fresh, which I think is interesting that I feel like a lot of people don't, didn't really like the Getting Fresh one. I liked it just fine. Y'all know me. I'm probably going to tweak it a little bit more and add a couple more shadows that I would prefer to it. But, you know, as a general rule, I like it. Just fine. But I love ColourPop, even though they have inconsistencies from time to time and even though I have to recreate palettes. But I feel like it inspires me to come up with fun colors. And then when I get a color head in the future, I can, you know, like grab from that and maybe even like you know take some of the colors that I've um, picked and created these palettes with and just make an actual palette with a better formula of my own so anyway I hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all get out of you can comment down below and tell me what your top 10 favorite color pop palettes are if you own 10 color pop palettes or just tell me some of your favorite uh, color pop palettes I want to find out about some more color pop products so if you have any color pop products you like or so what is it soul body or force ray beauty definitely comment those down below because i want to try more than just you know the color pop eyeshadow palettes i want to try a few more things so let me know down below some of your favorite color pop things and i might actually go pick them up because y'all know color pop is really affordable and i've been um trying to do a little bit more affordable stuff than i normally do because i know times are hard and people don't want me um showing them $50 foundations every time you look up. So I'm trying to find a better balance in between the two. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed girl. Bye.